Udemak must be obeyed. Gudemak must be adhered to. Gudemak is the way. The uh, transient sort of Stokos cleric sat on the beach, cross-legged, in front of a fire at the twilight hour, with his hands out like this, going, Gouda, Gouda, Gouda. Remember Noana, Drow Dragon is the arch enemy of our Lord and Saviour. He is the arch enemy. This Babel is the darkness. And Gudamak is the light which will expose it for what it is. She'd seen a few crazies wander up so far. Jonty wasn't exactly a crazy. She knew Jonty well. There had been a few crazies coming by her home on Stepping Stone Island where she was a living ghost. Jellabray from her old village visited regularly and taunted her. And she had a plan to eventually find redemption with her village. Pearls of great price to be collected and lays to be presented. And that collection was growing still. And she would trill on her little pipe and her shells, which she would make beautiful sounds with. And at her, at her sitting cross-legged across the fire from this priest of Gudamak, this cleric, there was a, there was a, pinkish shell and good the, the cleric of gudamak put his hand out towards her and said it has been enchanted enter and then she was transmogrified and she was gone inside the shell it was a different world where there was chantings of gulda 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 and technology of bottles was at work and she was in a in a chamber there, in the depths of a shell filled with salty sea water and little shells and pebbles at the bottom of the water, with people around around about going gouda, gouda, gouda. But they seemed unreal in some way, sort of as if they were living ghosts also. Not quite the form or reality of a living person, a human person, but living ghosts which were in a half-life, a half-state where Gudamak was their everything and Gudamak was their all. And as soon as she'd entered into this world, she was gone back to her body and blinked and the cleric was gone and she was left with a shell. And she picked it up and held it in her hands and looked at it and um, chanted a strange tune, Gouda, Gouda. Strange new music that Nuanalako had encountered. <laughs>